In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a silhouette of an animal, or really it can be a silhouette of anything, and make it a cut file in um, the image of an American flag. Now you can use any image, um, you can use any silhouette, and what I'm talking about is this here. There was a question in the group tonight, um, and there is a link in the description of this video for the Facebook group that I'm referring to um, about how to do this. So I do have a different video, but it saves as a PNG file, and this will save as a cut file, um, an SVG, which is a scalable vector graphic that you can take into your cutting program software and it will cut for you. Okay. Now, the first thing that I did, let me just move this out of the way, was I went to Google and I got um, an image of an American flag. And then I also got a image of a cat. What I did was typed in silhouette animals and just chose the cat. So the first thing you're going to want to do is trace this um, flag. So go to Path Trace Bitmap, choose colors, choose three colors, uncheck everything else at the bottom, okay? And update, make sure you have all three of your colors, and click OK. And then for the cat, you're going to want to do the same thing, except use brightness cutoff because it's a black and white image. I've already traced it, so I can't show you, but just trust me and use the brightness cutoff, okay? Now, this traced on top, so if I move it, I wanna make sure that I have a group. And if you notice, I have a group of four. So I've got an extra layer there somewhere that I'm gonna to need to find. Um, and this here is my image. If you look at the information bar, it says image. So I can go ahead and delete that. I'm not going to yet. Uh, so let me ungroup this. And I'm going to click on group until it says no groups at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to pull it apart to see what's going on here. I'm probably going to have to put a shape behind everything so I can see because if there's an extra white layer, um, which there is, see that there? I'm going to want to delete that. All right, so now I have white, I have red, and I have blue. And you're going to want to align these back where they belong, which can sometimes be a bit tricky. Um, I'll delete that. I should have actually only ended up with three, I don't know why it gave me four. I thought I had three selected. Oh, I didn't, I had four. Well, no wonder it gave me four. Um, it's only almost 4 a.m., so give me a break, okay? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is um, with my flag all ungrouped, I'm going to position my cat where I think I might want it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to control D to duplicate him. I'm going to select part of my flag, doesn't matter which part, and I'm going to control D to duplicate that as well. But this needs to be under the cat. So I'm going to use this button right here that says lower selection one step. All right. While that is still selected, I'm going to hold shift and select the cat. Then I'm going to go to path intersection. Now, as you can see, my bounding box is only around this area right here. So if I left click in that and pull it away, that's what I've got. Okay, let's do that again. Control D to duplicate the cat. I'll click on the red. Control D to duplicate that. I will lower that one step. With it still selected, I'll hold shift, select the cat, and apply a path intersection. I will grab the part that's on top of the cat and move that aside. Once again, Control D to duplicate the cat. I'll select the white. Now I know I have the white selected because 
The bounding box doesn't go all the way to the bottom under the red, okay? Also, if I look in my fill, it's white. So I'll go ahead and first of all, um, I'm gonna turn that white gray, okay? <clears throat> and then I'm going to, let's see, I forgot if I duplicated it, I'm sorry guys. I duplicated the cat. If you can't select your white, hold your Alt key, okay? And again, it's 4 a.m. and I can't remember if I duplicated it, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it again. There we go. And then I'm going to lower that one step, hold Shift, select the cat, and do path intersection. And that gives me the white part. Now I can go ahead and select all of this and delete it. No longer need that. I'll select all of the cat. Let's make him a little larger. And deselect by clicking off here. And let's line them up the best we can. And as you can see, there's gaps, okay? I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So just try to place it. Um, in the middle of the gap as best you can. Um, okay. Now let's go ahead and select this white again. Make sure you have your um, white color or gray color selected. And then, um, Let's apply an outset by holding control and hitting zero. I'm going to go ahead and do that a couple of times. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to enlarge that bottom layer, that white layer, um, so that it covers the gaps. You know, if I go ahead and select the blue and I raise it to the top, the square or the stars are pretty crisp. Okay. So you're going to want to remember when you layer that you layer your white or your blue on top of your white layer. Um, but as you can see here, it overlaps a little bit. So the best thing to do is go to your node editor here, select your white. You can left click and drag over these two and just scoot them in. And you can do that for all the ones that are seem to be sticking out too far. Um, you can also left click on it, hold shift, and left click on the other one and bring those in. Left click and drag those in. Okay, left click, shift, left click, drag those in. This one also, drag, oops, control Z. I need to grab this one too. And Drag that in, and also these. So when you do this, you're going to want to, um, you know, when you when you line up your white layer, you're going to want to line up one side, either this side or this side, so that you don't have to go around and move all the nodes on both sides. But that's how you do it. Um, now you have a cut file. You can cut this in blue, you can cut this in white, you can cut this in red, okay? Uh, I hope this helps and have fun with it. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos.